Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be uh, giving our reaction to Tottenham Hotspur's disastrous nil-nil draw with Brentford at the Brentford Community Stadium in uh, Spurs' second-to-last London derby of the season. It was another opportunity of missed chances as Tottenham failed to put a single shot on target and could not capitalize uh, to get over Arsenal in the table. That means they are now two points behind with the same level, same games played. Uh, Tottenham are now in fifth, Arsenal in fourth after their 3-1 demolition of Manchester United. Let's start with our player of the match for Tottenham side. Mine is Cuti Romero. I don't think it's a question. It would have been 7-0 without him. He was definitely our best player yeah, today. Yeah, definitely. Making great tackles, winning back the ball. Being that cat defender and jumping yeah. up the field when we needed him in attack. And then at the end of the game, attacker. Yeah. But. Striker. Basically. He was definitely our best player because it could have been so, so I mean, much who more. who else was good? No I guess Son was, was whole, kind of good. But, but not the whole game. Yeah, not the whole game. Um, no Kulisevsky, one. No. Maurice. Maurice, yeah, you could say that. He made a great save. With that save, one good save. Tipped it onto the crossbar. Yeah, everyone else was really, really terrible today. Um, we really should have capitalized on these points. Uh, there were really no events in the game today, except for an uh, early, I think it was early, first half, incredible, incredible save by Hugo Lloris um, off the bar. And then off the bar, Erickson swung in. Was it a free kick? Or corner, corner. Uh, I think it was... It was a corner. It was, yeah, it was corner. And then uh, it was Ivan Tony, who headed the ball, and Hugo already stretched, and he might have gotten a fingertip on it, but it came off the bar, and it was then cleared. Tottenham really had no serious chances. Um, Maybe that, that biggest one was the Kane. Yeah. Um, overhead. Yeah. But uh, the next chance in the game was in 66 minutes when, yet again, Erickson swings a corner into the box. Loris parries it. And then uh, Jansen uh, flicks a header on, which is blocked by Kane. Erickson oh. latches onto the rebound and strikes it at goal. But um, it is saved by Hugo Loris and then cleared by Ben Davies. It was like pinball in the box. Completely. Uh, we, uh, Tottenham did have one or two chances. It was that um, Kane one that just went wide, yeah, that overhead. That was our biggest chance. No, there was also a free kick, uh, at the end. Son was taking it and was just way too close to dead yeah, right. He caught it so comfortably. Terrible. Yeah. Um, but just before that Kane chance was a wonderful set piece from Brentford and Bumo and Buemo and Bumo. Puts it into the side netting. One minute later, uh, Spurs go down the other way. Kulusevsky swings in a beautiful cross. Kane has his back to goal and basically bicycle kicks it towards goal. And he misses literally by three inches. And that was the end of the game. And that was the end of the match, which saw Tottenham not able to capitalize on their chance to go back above Arsenal. And now they sit in fifth place somewhat comfortably, four points ahead of United and two points behind Arsenal. We haven't had a shot on target since Aston Villa. Two games running, we haven't had a single shot on target. That's pretty embarrassing. It's like the whole front three have just lost cohesion. There's no chemistry. Ever since Brighton, they, they're not connecting with each other. They're not passing as much, yeah. well with each other as we saw in... Aston Villa, West Ham, Everton, Everton, Leeds. We won. We had that long winning run. Yeah. Um, this was our first draw in 2022 as well. Definitely not our first loss. Well, we didn't lose. Well, <laughs> our yeah. first um, draw. We were just. And now so... we only have four, four draws. We have how many? Five five more games to resurrect the season. And one, two of them, oh, three of them include Leicester, Liverpool away, so at Anfield, and Arsenal at home in that North London derby before we face Burnley in Norwich. This is going to be a very, They're very tough. Ever time. since Kane said, every game is a final. 
he has ghosted in all of them, basically. And then and then today and last game. So we really need to turn it up because otherwise I don't see us getting Champions League. And that poses the question, does Kane stay? Does Conte stay? Does Son stay? Do any of our top players stay? Although today they didn't look like top players. Not really. They look like Not anime, except for Kuti, of course. Yeah. But we have to have to get Champions League. It's looking unlikely, but we need Arsenal to drop some points. It's not likely, though, because, I mean, there's not a lot of opportunities for them to drop points, except for when we play them in the North London Derby. Or, and West Ham. West Ham. Newcastle. Not, uh, yeah, could Newcastle do something to them? I feel like they could. Possibly. But Newcastle are surging. But They are. But... West West Ham have not been been in good form. No. And their last game, oh wait, no mind. <laughs> Club friendly. Sorry, I was yeah. looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> but their last game is against Everton. They have Newcastle. Then they have us. They have Leeds, and they have West Ham. And the last time that Newcastle played a top six team, big six team, they lost five one, and that was to us. Yeah. So I'm not too optimistic. So we really have to inflict some damage to them. And we at the have NLD. to win against Leicester. We have to win against Leicester. We have to win against Liverpool. Unless if Arsenal drops points. Unless Arsenal drop points, which is very against unlikely. Against West Ham, West Ham, if they drop points. Yeah. And we have to, this is the most, uh, North London, this North London derby is going to be the most crucial one ever. Yeah. And then, like, of course we're going to bottle it against Burnley and Norwich. <laughs> yeah, we're going to somehow lose it in the last two days. We really need to pick it up because we had... A, quite a good run of games. Four games of just wins and, you know, putting lots of goals past opposition. And then the 0-1 Brighton came, and then the tie today. Um, oh, yeah, and Christian Eriksen dropped probably one of the best games of his career at Brentford. He created, like, 17,000 chances, and they probably should have won, like, 17-0. He had four key passes. Fat Mob gave him a rating of 7.2. It was ridiculous today. His... Free kicks and his long crosses were ridiculous today. I don't know how they didn't win. They probably should have. Tony had a lot of chances. Yeah. And uh, who was it? Pontus Janssen had it onto the bar. But yeah, we really need to turn this up because if this continues, anything that was like Tony this, who had it onto the bar. Tony. Oh yeah, Tony both times. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh no, it was uh, uh, Pontus Janssen for the Kane clearance off the line. Yeah. But yeah, we really need to tick this up. We have to get. 15 out of 15 points in our last five because otherwise we're just not getting top four. And top four is basically a must with Conte and stuff. Although, was today Conte's fault? No. No? No. You wouldn't say so? I I would kind of say because... It wasn't Conte's make, fault until we, until didn't, we make didn't make subs. substitutions. Yeah. At the beginning, he did nothing wrong. He was playing the normal tactics we always play. It's just something with the players morale maybe and then s- our first sub is in the 75th minute davinson sanchez that's when it all went wrong why davinson sanchez bergwine's on the bench bring him on he's good he scored for uh the dutch national team he scored for us against newcastle he scored once against germany he scored twice against denmark for netherlands scored of course those two late Les- at Leicester. At Leicester. scored a disallowed one at southampton Exactly. I don't know why he just did not come on because he would have been uh, basically exactly game changer for us. Yeah, and I have no idea why Bergwijn wasn't on. Why uh, Lucas Moore didn't come on should've earlier? Because there was clearly a little should have come on spark. way earlier. Who else do we have? I have to say, from the positives though, at least we didn't lose, and if we win all of our games. Coming, going up to the North London Derby, and we win them. The North London Derby will be we, a point ahead. We'll be a point ahead, so we'll have some yeah. clearance there. Like we, we have to be... absolutely smash Liverpool out of the park. Yeah. And that'll be very, very crucial to our points tally. We just need a better bench. Our starting team is pretty decent, but our... who would have thought that a whole team season would have been dependent on Matt Doherty? A guy yeah. from Ever Ireland. Ever since he got injured. We have been just terrible. Gone down. We just lost it all when he was injured. The Aston Villa game was the last game we were good, and then we just fell apart because our wing backs were terrible. We need. He has I, done I don't so know much. why Reguilon didn't start today. He could have been so much more creative I mean, than Cessna. Based on the Brighton game, he wasn't great. 
I mean, he wasn't great, but he's much more reliable than Reg- yeah. uh, Sessegnon. Well, we and Sessegnon. you know he creates 10 times more chances. We haven't seen that- Sessegnon in a while. Last time we saw him for a full game was, or half of a game at least, was uh, in March. When and we today played. he did not do well. Sessegnon, no. But I guess it was a chance because, I mean, Reggion was not doing well. So. Yeah, I guess. Next game, Reggion has to start, yeah. though. But lots of things, lots of changes need to be need to happen here at Tottenham. But that's it for our instant reactions. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Please subscribe to our channel. We're under 20 away from 500 subscribers. And also subscribe to our newly created Tottenham America shorts. Link in the description below. Please go subscribe. There will be uh, lots of different fun shorts that you guys can watch. Uh, make sure you like the video if you enjoy our content. Comment down below who your man of the match was for Tottenham. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!